uh, good morning. So I thought I'd give a little tour of our new trailer sailor. Uh, the boat is a Mistral 16, 16 feet long, uh, based on a uh, Wayfarer hull. So from the shear line down, she's uh, like a, a Wayfarer, which is a uh, racing and cruising dinghy. And, uh, and then from the shear line up, she has a cabin. And then there's a swing keel, 140 pound swing keel uh, for, for stability. So the hull shape is similar to a Wayfarer, but it's, it's, it's a cruising design with, uh, with a cabin and a swing keel, a light swing keel. So the reason we bought this boat is we wanted a boat to keep it a marina, uh, where we could uh, go and use it anytime, you know, after work or on the weekends uh, and that sort of thing. And our other boat, which is also a trailer sailor, it's got some features that make it not great to keep in a marina, uh, when it doesn't have a self-draining cockpit. So when it rains, it fills up with water. Uh, so this boat's got some features that, that'll make it a little bit better as a uh, uh, marina marina boat. Uh, and, and that's what we wanted for next year. Uh, it also has a lockable cabin. So when you're, you know, uh, away from the boat, you can lock your, your stuff inside the cabin. Um, so some, uh, some features of the boat. She, she's really light. She's 500 pounds. Uh, I think your basic uh, wafer is 365 pounds. And this boat is 500 with the cabin top and the keel added. So uh, she's not a lot heavier than, uh, than a dinghy. And I've sailed her uh, just the once. I only, we only got this boat on Saturday and I've had it out sailing once. Uh, it sails nicely, but it, it sails like a dinghy. But at the same time, that keel gives a little bit of uh, when she heels over, uh, you can feel the, the the keel pulling her back down, which is which is nice. Uh, really nice boat to sail, good performance. So 16 feet long, 500 pounds, uh, just over six foot beam. Uh, the mast I think is 24 feet tall, with 141 square feet of sail area. She has uh, pretty good sail controls. She has uh, it's a uh, she's got a boom vang, uh, adjustable outhaul, double line reefing, uh, some well set up uh, sail controls. Uh, that's a main and a jib. She's a sloop rig. Uh, again, she performs well. She performs like a sloop. So let's give you a little bit of a tour of the cabin while I'm here, I guess. Uh, it's not very big, but we wanted something where, uh, you know, we could get out get out of the rain maybe uh play a game of cards if we were out and we got got out into trouble and we could uh sleep in it not not a whole family can't sleep in here but you know one person or maybe one person with a, a couple of kids could sleep in this cabin and some degree of comfort so okay so i'm sitting on the bed right now looking and that's so that's like a footwell with uh a bench seat on that side so four people can realistically sleep it sit in this boat uh storage underneath the cockpit there and then back and you can see there's a v-berth now that's not a full-length v-berth two could, kids could sleep on there but not two adults it's uh oh, i don't know about four and a half feet long then a little storage cuppy up on top and uh, storage underneath. At first I thought it was an ice box, but there's no drain plug, so maybe not. And then this on this side, on this side is your full length bed for an adult. If an adult were to sleep a, uh, aboard, it, it's on this side. Uh, technically you could put an insert in on this side and have that doubled up but it would be pretty cozy. There'd be no room to change your mind if you did that. And then there's storage underneath the other side as well. I will probably put a, a lithium battery and some flexible solar panels in this cockpit. Uh, there's two windows, but the only uh, opening hatch is the, uh, the main hatch itself. Okay. Oh, and then storage underneath underneath the bed and what's down there bailing can tools anchor that sort of thing so there isn't a, a ton of storage but you don't need a ton of storage storage on a day sailor and for camp cruising you know you can pack it up uh and uh make do all right let's go take a look at the cockpit
Okay, so that's looking through the companionway hatch. So there's uh, hatch boards that go in here. Two of those, I think it would probably be wise to sail with one in the water because the bridge deck is really low. There's the swing keel winch. I've tested it. It's really easy to operate the swing keel. Inclinometer, some cleats. And big, big, pretty big cockpit. The cockpit's over six feet long, I would say. Uh, tiller, engine mount, self-draining cockpit. There's the drain plug back there. And that's about all there is in the cockpit. There's, look at the rudder, other trailer winches in the way, but that's the idea. There's the shape of the stern. Okay. Nice big cockpit.